Yeah, I, I, the end result I thought was obviously is going to look pretty good. Um, the first quarter was not particularly great. So I was a little disappointed. Um, I thought we were a fairly veteran group to start, obviously with the four returners and then throw in Sidney Shaw, who's played at a, in the SEC and started a bunch of games. I expected a little more out of us. Um, I thought we fouled. We couldn't find any flow. Um, the ball stopped too often. Didn't love our defensive identity. Um, I thought we got better as the game went. Second quarter was a little bit better. Third quarter started to, there were some moments where we were pretty good and looked like ourselves. And then I thought that kind of continued into the fourth. So um, got better as the game went, maybe got a little more comfortable. Obviously got a lot of kids a few minutes, um, just about everybody scored. So that piece was really good. Um, I thought Jordan was really good in that first half and kind of carried us offensively when we didn't have much else going. Um, obviously, Sydney Shaw kind of caught fire and did what we've seen Sydney do quite a bit since she got here. JJ got going a little bit, um, battled the foul trouble again, and we've got to be a little bit better there and, and stay out of foul trouble. And then, yeah, just kind of pieced it together. Kaya battled. Um, I thought rebounded really well for us, just couldn't get anything to fall. Um, and so, yeah, so work to do. It's, it's one of hopefully quite a few this year. Um, it was an okay performance that got a little bit better, and we'll find ways to continue to improve. So you talked about that slow start to start the game. Is there some, something that you can almost take positively out of that, that it's like we, we already experienced that? Because a lot of times in maybe these smaller school games, you just dominate from start to finish. You don't really necessarily get any kind of conflict. Is it? Is there a part of it that you feel almost good about that you were able to respond with that? Well, I think you have to, and it happened. You know, you got to take something from it. And so, yeah, if you we use the word, they kind of punched us a little bit, um, you know, and they were making some shots. We weren't. Maybe getting a little frustrated. I thought our flow offensively was bad, and we were a little dribble happy. So, yeah, that's the good stuff. We can go show them the film and show them when we were at our best, when the ball was moving, and we were creating space, and we did not do that early. So, yeah, we're going to learn from it for sure. Um, you know, yeah, I, I would – still prefer to start a little bit better but yeah we're going to find a way to get better from it coach with, you, with jj's fouls i think two of them were charging when she's trying to drive and make a pass how do you adjust to that because obviously she's a player who likes to get to the rim so how do you kind of adjust? well just to play off two feet they were both because she didn't play off two feet and she needs to play off two a little bit more and um, you know, when she gets in there, um, you know, and yeah, I mean, that's it to make it a quicker decision. I thought our decision making was a little slow. It looked like the game was going fast at times. And so we were a step behind. Um, and so I think that will get better. Um, for the most part, she was pretty good about not doing that. It's the reach in fouls and those types of things to me that I, I don't like the charges. She's being aggressive. She's trying to make a play. She'll figure that out. So not worried about that one, probably as much as the reaches and the off ball fouls. What did it mean to get Zaya Nugent some minutes tonight uh, after you know she had that injury all of last year and she came with you from Stephen F. Austin? So what did it mean to see her back out on the court? Yeah, a lot. I mean, we've been together for six years now and probably like eight from the recruiting days. So I've seen the kid and, and she's battled through it for two consecutive years. And I asked her yesterday or yeah, yesterday at practice, you know, you know how you feeling? Are you excited? And she said, yeah, she was just really excited. She's worked really hard to, to get back here and she's still got some work to do, but just to see her out there playing the game that she loves is, is pretty special to me. And I know she was probably pretty excited to, to get out there and score a bucket again. And, and I think she took a charge right there in the, in the first half. So yeah, kind of, she'll, she'll start to settle in hopefully. How much of a sigh of relief was it like halfway through the second quarter, you guys fall down 18-16 and then 10-0 and run with three turnovers? Is that the point where you're like, deep breath, this is finally what I was looking for? Yeah, I mean, that was one of them. I mean, I thought more into the third quarter when it was really going and then, you know, timeout, timeout, big run, place got kind of loud. You know, that's us even a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, you're disappointed when they take the lead for those few seconds, but then the, you're always looking for the response. And I did like the response. And, you know, that's what our group did a year ago, too. Um, so I wasn't overly worried that we weren't going to make the run. Um, it just took us longer than I was probably anticipating going into this. How big was Jordan, you know, on that run and then closing out the half, especially with JJ on the bench? Yeah, well, I thought she was really good. I mean, she was the scoring in that second quarter, I thought. And, um, you know, got it. What I think we beat him by 12 in the second quarter. And most of that was probably Jordan scoring or facilitating. Um, you know, but she finished with, what, 23, 8, and 6 steals. So I thought she was really, really good in the general, floor general, and distributing and, and finding open people. And, yeah, she was really good tonight. You guys won the rebounding margin 38 to 29. Um, you know, that was an issue from a year ago that you kind of addressed over the offseason was the rebounding. Obviously, you guys had the size advantage tonight, but 
what did you see on your team's effort on the glass? Yeah, I thought it was, it kind of mirrored how we played. It wasn't very good early, and we gave up a couple free throw line blockouts, which is inexcusable. But then again, I thought it got better um, as the night went on. Um, the good news is that we can play a little bit bigger this year than we could last year, so we can kind of play – two or three bigger rebounders we can move Kaya to the three and play a four and a five with some size so I think we'll eventually be able to clean up the rebounding even when we get into the big 12 um, but I thought it was slow starting and then got better as the night went. Coach here's what I kind of find interesting with Jordan is that obviously over the course of a long season there's going to be games where JJ goes off and maybe Sydney goes off and so so Jordan doesn't have to go out and score 23 but there might be other games where maybe J.J. gets in foul trouble or so on. And so she seems to kind of have that innate understanding of, okay, this is a game I got to do this, and this is a game I got to do this. I mean, it's not an easy thing, is it, for a player? Well, to- no, but when you're as talented as Jordan, like she can feel it, and you're a, yeah. she's a true point guard that understands time, moment, who's got the hot hand. That's what we liked is she found Sidney Shaw. I think a couple times, you know, when she had made a three and she's got her head up and then when J.J. goes out and she looks around, it's probably like, okay, now I might need to go a little bit until we can get some other kids, you know, going a little bit. So, no, that's what Jordan is. She's now a junior. She's played a lot of college games and and had a lot of success. So that's, you know, I'm not necessarily surprised. That's what I expect of uh, of that kid because she's of that level. This is one of the best two-way guards in the country. So I, I would expect that from her. What does Sydney Shaw bring to the offense? Because I mean, there are a couple sequences where she kind of took over. Yeah, no, she does. She can she can shoot it. There's more to her game, and we need to continue to challenge her to show the rest of her game. I know she hit the one pull up there kind of late later in the fourth quarter, but she can get to the rim. She lost the ball a couple times on some of those drives. I know she would like to have that back, but she can shoot it. She can get going, um, but that's not just what she is. Um, you know, in the past, she's been a mid-range kid and a get-to-the-rim kid, so we'll keep challenging her to score at all the levels. We'll keep challenging her to really defend and rebound for us, but um, yeah, I thought she was really good too tonight, and she'll continue to get better, I think, as well. Jordan Thomas in her first uh, collegiate game, six points, a couple rebounds, was battling down on <coughs> defense. What did you see on her effort and her debut? Yeah, I thought Jordan did a good job. We need to do a little bit better job of, of getting her a few more touches. Um, I thought she had one that she kind of had on the left side and came back to that to that right hand. So, I, you know, that was the one move that I, I would like for her to have back and make a better decision. But she's going to battle. She'll rebound. She has great hands and great feet. Um, so for a freshman in her first game, yeah, no, I was about what I probably expected of her, and she's going to be a huge piece to to what we do. And, and she's another one that will get better throughout the season as she gets a little more comfortable with what we're doing. You had a few rotations of uh, Jordan out there with Sealy also, so a couple two forward looks. That's not something you did a lot last year. What does it mean to be able to put that look out there, and does that just come from the depth from the forward position on the team this year? Yeah, I think we have some options. Tears has been hurt, so she hasn't just practiced. Her and Destiny have been out a little bit the last probably seven seven days, so they were kind of on a limited minutes, and so that gave CC a really good opportunity. Um, but we thought CC was one of her, you know, maybe the best junior college post player in the country a year ago. She really can play the four and the five, so if we want to go big, that's one of the lineups when we need to rebound. Like, then we would go with that or throw a tears in or maybe even Danelle. So we have options. You know, again, I keep telling them I need some of them to separate from the others a little bit and, um, you know, make my life easy from a rotational standpoint. And uh, we won't have it figured out here for a little bit. We're going to have to kind of keep playing with it and, and see who we like together. Um, but that allows us to move Kaya to, to the three and maybe even the two if we need to. You didn't shoot very well from range early on. Do you, do you get to a point where you're like, I don't care if you're open, like we're not making them, you got to drive, or is it if you open shoot it, they got to go in eventually? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, I think we're still working through to see who those you know kids are. Some kids, yeah, you may not need to be taking that shot, and you need to find different ways, and other kids that are shooters. You know, I always think shooters, the more shots they take, the closer they are to figuring it out. So some of those kids you want to keep shooting, others, you, know, you don't have to take that one. You might be open for a reason, so maybe we should go find a, a layup or a free throw. In the third, because I think that, that was five and nine, and then like you know, really after halftime, you shot much better. Yeah, no, we did. Yeah, we, we I mean, we got to 12 and shot 36 percent. So, if we can get to 10 to 12 threes a night and shoot 36 percent, we'll be just fine from three. It was inside the arc that we didn't probably shoot it as well as we would that we would like. And I thought we made the free throws for the most part, missed a couple late, but um, for the most part, I thought we were okay there. Coach, uh, what do you think of Kaya's game tonight? Uh, early, it seemed like she was grabbing every rebound. 
but then she couldn't, you know, get the stroke to go on the other end. Just, you know, what would you see there? With the- yeah, no, I thought she was fantastic on defense, which she always is, right. and she's active. And, you know, I think she had seven rebounds in the first half and kind of came out of nowhere on a couple of them. And, and that's where we need her to rebound, especially with that group that we start. She's the best rebounder in that lineup. Um, you know, I thought they were kind of daring her to take some perimeter shots. Um, she would have been one maybe that after she had missed three or four, like probably need to drive in there, Kai, and see if we can't get a layup or get to the free throw line. But I have the ultimate confidence and faith in that kid. She's played in huge games and big in, been in big moments. So she'll get it figured out, um, you know, and then we got to rest her a little bit. We play her a lot. So this was a good opportunity to, to limit those minutes some um, because she's going to probably play a lot here over the next week. Is there anything you say to JJ when you know it seemed like she was kind of getting upset, frustrated, shots weren't falling, and she gets into foul trouble when she kind of gets upset like that? Like, do you need to say anything to her, or you just kind of let her figure it out and be who she is? No, a little bit of both. I mean, you, you at times try to help her work through it, um, and then at times it's no. There's some decisions that you're not making that are leading to some of your frustration. So you're trying to help her in those ways to limit the frustration based on maybe a decision or something she didn't see. I thought she started trying to force the issue just a little bit off the dribble, and we weren't moving the ball and so I just wanted her to get rid of it to get it back let other people get some touches and maybe get her a little bit more space um you know and then she got a little bit more in the third quarter finally um but in that like first quarter second quarter we were a little just too dribble dribble happy but everybody's just trying to go we're trying to make plays it's the first game and we just didn't kind of we need to trust the ball a little bit more you mentioned it was good to see the whole roster uh, on opening night. How does that help you and your staff early in the season get to see everybody in game action? Yeah, it keeps everybody engaged, too, though. They all got minutes, so they all stay kind of excited. They all, you know, hopefully come back. We have film on them, so now they all get to watch themselves on film so they can get with their positional coach and see themselves and so we can get better. And, you know, there won't be all opportunities to do that throughout the season. And so when you get it, you do like to get those kids a, a crack at it. They work pretty hard as well every day. Could I get a comment about Saturday's game? Two teams, two of the top teams in the country last year who led, you know, turnovers. Uh, I don't know if they do it exactly like the way you guys do it, but I mean, what could that game kind of look like? Yeah, we played them a year ago too. So it was number one and number two in the country in turnovers forced a year ago. So yeah, you can imagine what that's. It's, it'll be a little track meet. Both teams press just about the entire night. They do do it differently than we do. Um, so we do have some tape from a year ago we can at least go back to. But, you know, it's a solid program. They won a ton of games. Um, did very, very well in their league. Um, you know, I've played them, in, I think, at SFA once, or they are at least in the same tournament as us. So somewhat familiar with them. Um, but, yeah, no, they do a good job. I haven't studied them at all yet. We'll start that process tomorrow. The thing is pressing teams don't like to be pressed. So now you got two pressing teams pressing each other. I mean, that just seems like it could be a little weird. Maybe. Yeah, it can be at times. There'll probably be some points on the board. Uh, I think we got like 100 plus a year ago, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a – I don't know that we'll be calling a whole lot of sets or action. This will probably be a little free-flowing and just letting the kids play and make the right reads. So, yeah, we'll go to work on that, but we'll have to practice the press breakers and be prepared for their pressure, which is great. Um, I think the non-conference allows you to play a bunch of different styles. Um, and this is one that, you know, I don't know that we have anybody in the Big 12 that plays exactly like them, right. but you never know when you run into somebody or late game type stuff. So this will give us a chance to work on quite a bit of press break stuff. Thanks, everyone.